my name is Marcus and I want to show you how I do my keywords for YouTube uh, for the most effect. Uh, you can see here, I, I brought up this page here just to show some credibility about you know what it is that I do. This is uh, one of my show pages here and uh, you can see here that uh, I've got uh, a lot of subscribers and quite a few views, over 16 million views. And um, so, let me show you how I do my keywords, or let me first show you why keywords are important. So right here is my traffic from uh, this year so far. Uh, you can see here this huge spike. That's when I decided that I was gonna do this full time and uh, decided that I was gonna work this you know, for a living. Uh, now, here's the interesting thing about this is that right here YouTube suggested video that is 40 percent it's the pink here and it is that is uh, directly related to the keywords that I put in uh, so that it shows up next to other videos and uh, so you can see this is my biggest source of traffic uh, on you know stuff coming in just the search right here is only 6.7 percent uh, and then external websites is only four percent um, so it um, you know there's not uh, and YouTube advertising let's see external pr funded promotion nothing really there so I just want to show you that how much the keywords make a difference and those are what bring in new people now uh, let me show you uh, what I do here. Uh, actually, let me uh, show you first. This is a uh, this is a video that I just did. I just finished editing it, and we just put it up. And it um, it was really about noticing that YouTube is giving keywords based on uh, the images that it sees in there. And so right here, it's, uh, these images are from a video and you can see that it has a suggested tag of golf. And that's what got me thinking about all of this. So, okay, the, um, let me bring up TextPad here. And by the way, I'm gonna link to these tools in the description. Uh, and I've got TextPad here and I've got the keyword tool, the Google keyword tool. And uh, so, uh, what I what I did why I brought up that other video was because I want to let's say uh, that that video is about keywords and I'll link to that video at the end here as well um, so that video is really about noticing the keywords and okay so <clears throat> let's say that I'm doing a video about the Google uh, uh, or YouTube is their proof that they are doing keywords based off images and so I think just in the top of my head my, my I suspect that if I wanted to find out more information about that what kind of Google search would I do and I would put in something like uh, YouTube keyword and so I'm going to put that in here um, and uh, this is the uh, Google Keyword tool, uh, and there'll be a link to it in the description. Now I use, okay, so I've got a word or phrase. The longer you make it, the less people are going to be searching for it. And, and I'm going to show you here how I decide which uh, keywords pay more as well. Uh, because sometimes you want to give more weight to the ones that uh, will have ads that will pay more if you're running ads. If you're just trying to get people to your site, you definitely want numbers. Um, of people so I uncheck broad here and I go to exact match and when I go to exact uh, okay so it came up here with stuff now if you're logged into your AdWords account if you have an AdWords account it's gonna show you these uh, this beta of the ad group ideas and I actually like this better than uh, just getting all of the uh, keywords here and uh, both are important but first thing you do is you go to the global monthly searches and so 
there's people searching for the Google Keyword Tool, which is what I'm using right here, but see, these are not necessarily related to YouTube. And so I'm trying to be, see, here's the YouTube Keyword Tool. And um, I'm trying to be a lot more specific to uh, being just to YouTube. The more specific you are, the more targeted the people are, you may have less people visit your uh, video, but it's not about how many people visit, it's about how many people take action that you desire, whether that's watching the video or whether that is taking some sort of action or whether you're telling them to do something. Okay, so here again is the YouTube keyword tool. It's already in the order because in the other screen I, I clicked uh, the global monthly searches. And so these are all uh, stuff that I'm interested in. Now let me show you a trick. I'm using Firefox here and um, Let's see if I can zoom in on this. I'm using Firefox here, and I'm, I actually use Chrome all the time, except for this one page. And the reason is, is a, um, a feature of Firefox allowing me to select just certain areas of data. And uh, so, okay, I'm not sure that I need to get down into these uh, lower keywords here. Uh, but we're going to take, well, let's see, there's 27 of them. Okay, so, uh, and this is competition thing here. This is how many people, this is not how many people are searching for it and how well you're going to show up. This is how many people are paying for advertising for this keyword. And so when it, when it shows high, like this, online marketing YouTube. When it shows high, that's one to pay attention to if you're running ads on your um on your your videos but you still got to make sure that everything even though it's high let's see this is online marketing YouTube that may not be um, what um, you know what I want to um, show so okay I didn't have the view right I wasn't didn't have it on the screen so what, here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select all of these here what I do is I hold down my left control button and then I click left click and hold on this bottom one and I just go up, I just take my mouse up. Okay, now I'm on the last one, and I let go of both buttons. I right click, I select copy, and then I'm going to uh, go over to my um, text pad tool here, and I'm going to paste, and look at that. It got all of them in there already. And now YouTube, um, YouTube requires something else. Now, and I, I want to, um, let's see here. So YouTube requires something else here too. And so the first thing we got to do is if these are going to be our keywords, um, I've got to pull out stuff that doesn't apply. So YouTube promoted videos, that does not apply. I got to pull that out. Uh, YouTube, YouTube doesn't apply. YouTube keywords does. YouTube promoted video does not. Keyword tool YouTube, marketing with YouTube, Hmm, thinking about that, whether or not that actually applies. Uh, well, if, I, if I'm if i doing the keywords for this particular video right here, it would. Uh, but for, um, yeah, I guess it does apply. Okay, uh, get YouTube hits. Yeah, that applies. And, uh, okay, so YouTube video SEO. This is SEO that we are doing at Search Engine Optimization, except we're doing it for YouTube. Uh, which YouTube does have its own search, run by Google, of course. Okay, so YouTube keyword research, search, uh, video optimization, no. Keyword tool, yes. Uh, SEO video, yeah. Best YouTube keywords, uh, YouTube keyword tools, uh, YouTube video SEO, okay. Uh, video and marketing, uh, getting YouTube hits, keyword tool for YouTube, uh, marketing secrets. Well, I'm not peddling secrets, but hmm, I'm giving, I guess this is, I guess this is a, a tip that could be considered a secret. Uh, keywords for YouTube, online marketing for YouTube, ads for YouTube, keyword tool, and um, let's see here. We're not gonna focus on ads, really. And the keyword statistics and keyword tags. Okay, so what I've got here is a set of keywords. They're not quite ready to put into YouTube yet. They need some formatting. Now, I'm using TextPad here 
because it has some extra tools. TextPad does cost it. They have a free version. It's Shareware, and it's like 20 bucks, I think, if you want to buy it. Uh, and then it won't nag you. Uh, I own a couple of licenses because I have it on a couple of machines. And okay, so the um, one of the things that we need to do is we need to change. And I'm gonna. Uh, oh, I gotta. Hmm. I don't have my view here good enough. Let's see here. Right here, I'm gonna do replace. Okay. This comes up with uh, this text right here. You can see I've already done it. And so I'm going to do it in the active document. It's going to do text. And I'm going to replace the bracket with a quote. Replace all. And then I change it to the other bracket. Replace all. And then I'm done with that. Now, uh, because I need quotes. And, um, and quotes mean that this is, if someone searches for this, this is exactly what they're looking for. <coughs> Whether they include that as part of their search or is that is their only search. Now, they all need to be on one line after this, and they have to be, um, so see here, I have line numbers turned on. You can see I'm putting them all on one line. And uh, so when I get that done, then I'm also gonna look at how many uh, characters it is, because you may not know this, you have a 500 character limit on uh, the number of uh, keywords. And that's character limit, not word limit. So even the quotes and the spaces, everything count on this. And uh, let's see here. Okay. Okay, so now, oh, 489. Wow, I don't have to take anything out. Now, if I was over, I would take out some of the things that maybe... Uh, apply but are not as specific I would start going for the more specific stuff and I want to keep this YouTube keyword tool this is what this is about uh, in here so I want to make sure and keep that one in and you want it to be first you want the most important stuff to be first now I have a couple of other things here uh, that um, so um, you know, it's it's how how they're searching for it and everything. And I might put in here because this other uh, video. Let's see here. Well, I don't have it on this uh, particular computer. Uh, this uh, video that I was showing you is about the proof that Google or that YouTube is looking at images. So um, I, I want the keyword proof and uh, images. Uh, and keyword suggestions. So those are going to be important uh, to me. Now, I've gone over. I'm 522. So uh, I want to take out some of the stuff that is not quite as uh, targeted. And maybe I'm going to take out uh, marketing with YouTube right there. And what does that put me at? Puts me at 497. By the way, you can't see this. Let's, let's do the whole screen here. If you look at the lower right down here is where you can see uh, how many uh, there are. So, okay. I've got my keyword set here now. And the title and description are also important. Uh, but uh, this is specifically how to do the keywords how to use the Google uh, AdWords keyword tool to get those keywords. Make sure that when you're doing this that um, you've got a good you know, understanding of what people are going to be searching for for your video and you put in just, you know, typically not just one word, but you'll put in, you know, here's another thing. So like World of Tanks is, is one, of the, um, one of the things that I, I do stuff on. And so it's a video game. And okay, now it's loading stuff up. I still have I have exact. You got to check this. You got to check exact because that's very important. And uh, so the um, let's see here. Some of these, you know, I wouldn't be doing anything about forums, but the trees, the tech trees, is something that I might be doing. And um, there's low competition on the advertising here and everything. So this one I might go straight with just um, straight out uh, keywords and you can see here that uh, it it says here you know world of tanks 
and there's low competition, but there's 1.2 million searches. And then there's some, some stuff that really doesn't apply here. I mean, online game, yes, it is an online game, but when I'm doing videos about it, I want them to be very specific. And uh, so, uh, and if I were talking about the World of Tanks wiki, you know, there's a lot of people searching for that. The forums, if I were talking about that, this would be one of my keywords. And I actually have these um, broken out into, uh, into some other stuff. Let me see if I can uh, pull up my World of Tanks uh, stuff here. Here is my World of Tanks um, file that I use with um, with my videos and this is kind of a general description here that I put in after I've put in my description I put in this stuff here I want you know I'm, I'm also leading people to click on a link to, to go to my site and then here's my general set that I came up with and I broke these all out because there's so much different stuff now I have specific tanks these are all in the order of um, how many searches there are for them and uh, then I have some general uh, tank stuff like French tanks, premium tanks, the best tanks um, and then if I'm talking about hacks and cheats this is a whole section I made up just for hacks and cheats and what I'll do is I have these already because I talk about World of Tanks a lot and I'll have them all ready to go uh, and uh, then I just pull out the ones that don't apply like if I'm not talking about a money hack then I would be pulling that one out. If I'm not talking about uh, accounts, I'd be pulling that one out. If I'm not talking about aimbot, I'd be pulling that one out. If, if I'm talking about bots and about different hacks and stuff, then these are all relevant. Uh, and, you know, so I have a whole bunch of different stuff here. And then I have a bunch of different uh, keywords here. There's 800 keywords that come up for World of Tanks. And I pulled out most of, um, most of the stuff that wasn't uh, applicable yet and um, you know and some of this stuff that I'll, I'll completely um, you know pull out you know like uh, hmm oh, world of tanks help maybe 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 this misspelling here I would pull that one out and maybe this misspelling then that's not how you spell tanks uh, maybe I'd pull those out or maybe you know, if I have uh, my tank general area, if there's that many people that are searching for it on the wrong spelling, I might include that if I have the room. So, okay, I hope that uh, helps you with, uh, you know, figuring out what kind of uh, stuff you can do and uh, how uh, it really matters with, um, with, you know, it actually getting all of these views um, and these are people watching other videos that come and find my videos uh, because of those keywords. If you don't put in those keywords, Google or YouTube just makes some guesses and it's not nearly as accurate. And you also, if you have really successful videos, they get featured and uh, that just gives you more success. So I'm Marcus. Please subscribe if uh, you enjoyed this information. Take care. Okay, so um, we have, uh, wow, my, uh, my program here decided not to work correctly, but I'm going to talk about this stuff anyway. All of these videos here are uh, other videos that I've done, and uh, you can check out this one in the lower right. It is a, um, it is a video about uh, my discovery of... Uh, YouTube actually figuring out that um, uh, that they're looking at the images because it looks like I'm on a golf course and they suggested golf. So click on that if you want to check that out. Uh, upper right, I do Kickstarter campaign reviews of games and uh, that is one for Are You a Werewolf? Uh, and Are You a Werewolf is a great uh, family game. Uh, it's uh, considered to be a board game, although it doesn't uh, require a board. And uh, then at the um, upper left, I talk about uh, being an entrepreneur in, 
in uh, my video series on uh, my Marky Dragon channel. Uh, I relate a lot of it to video games, and uh, but in that one in particular, I talk about my motivations and uh, what uh, you know motivates me to work so hard on my stuff. So anyway, uh, thank you very much uh, for watching, and uh, take care.